A laser power or energy meter is a wonderful tool, but what if you need to see an analog representation of your laser power or energy on a scope in parallel to the numerical readout on a regular power or energy meter? There are a number of options depending on the purpose. One. In many cases, the simplest solution could be to make use of the analog output of the meter using the mating connector provided. That gives a voltage signal proportional to the actual reading. It's in fact just a D to A translation of what's being displayed. So it represents a fully calibrated reading. The full scale voltage is a function of the meter being used and the power range that it's on. Two. The SH to BNC connector simply takes the raw output from the detector element and sends it to the scope. It bypasses the calibration data stored in the sensor ZPROM, so it essentially turns the sensor into an uncalibrated dumb analog sensor. It should be noted though that in some cases we could be talking about a signal to the scope that may be low, perhaps even near the noise level of the scope, which limits the usefulness of this method at low powers. Three, if you're using an energy sensor, pyroelectric or photodiode type, you might want to see every pulse, but you might be using a meter that can't quite go that fast. For example, you might be using a PE9C pyroelectric sensor, which can measure every pulse at up to 25 kilohertz, but you might be using it with a Vega meter, which can only catch every pulse at a maximum of 4 kilohertz. With the pyroscope adapter, you can look at the output of every single pulse on an oscilloscope at up to the maximum pulse rate of the sensor. Simply connect the adapter between the sensor and the meter. Connect the BNC cable to your scope. And set the meter to scope mode. The meter then performs the signal processing. And what you'll see is a nice square output pulse where the voltage is approximately proportional to the pulse energy. The shape of this pulse is not that of the actual laser pulse, but rather is a function of the electronics of the sensor. It's the height of the pulse that's of interest. Four, if the need is to see the actual pulse width, the pulse's temporal profile, the solution, assuming applicable specs, is to use the FPS1 fast photo detector connected to a scope. You can point it anywhere where it'll catch some backscatter from your laser and you'll see the pulse temporal form as it really is. It's worth adding that if your application is specifically based on analog signal output, for example, if you need power sensors integrated inside your system to monitor the power for feedback control, then their solution for you might be one of our OEM sensors, which can be specifically tailored to your needs. Speak to your local Ophir representative to learn more about how we can best help you. To get our latest updates, follow us on our website, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or our blog. All the links are below. <laughs>